Good day, everybody. Meteorologist Robert Spetta here with WesternPacificWeather.com in collaboration with EarthquakeReport.com. Currently doing this update on it about a 24 hours since the 6.2 earthquake that occurred in Sulawesi, Indonesia yesterday, approximately 75 kilometers south of Kandari up in this region here, one of the more populated cities in the region. But also just noting it was a 6.2, very shallow, thus uh, shaking at the surface. It was pretty intense out here, uh, only about 9.4 kilometers deep, so very shallow uh, earthquake that occurred yesterday. Actually, if you look at the USGS shake map on this, there's indication that moderate to heavy shaking did take place in uh, southeast Selawasi here, just northeast of uh, Kodabu up in this region here in south of Kandar is really where you had the max shaking. A lot of remote villages out there, and that's where we're seeing the max uh, potential or the max amount of damage, actually. Some pictures coming out of the region where we have heard of uh, several collapsed buildings out in this region. This one in particular, a uh, brick wall just kind of collapsed on this person here. Uh, no reports of any deaths coming out of the region, but there are reports of dozens of houses that are severely damaged. In in ruins in the Morable district and also reports of uh, severe injuries in the region as well including one where somebody tried to uh, jump out of their second story uh, building uh, it just basically in a panic during the earthquake so one thing I always do mention when an earthquake does occur always take precaution get under a table or in a doorway or something like that but try to uh, remain calm also one thing I do want to mention oh uh, many people did flee uh, once they did feel the effects of the earthquake along the coastlines here to some higher elevation which is always a smart decision, especially when you live in a low-lying coast area like this, making it up to a higher mountains in regions like this, especially uh, when you don't know if there is a tsunami on the way or not. Always take the more precautionary measure. So pretty smart move by a lot of people out there when they did do that. Next want to mention that we did have some reports of liquefaction occurring in the low-lying areas out here. If you're not sure what liquefaction is, actually I'll, I'll go ahead and try to explain it real quick with a basic and bare graphic actually here with an experiment that anybody could do at home here. Just just noting that basically you have a pipe laid here, you put water in it, fill, uh, bulk it up here with sand, put mass on the top. If you shake it, this is basically going to liquefy due to the water down here and the mass will collapse. Very bare and uh, kind of rough uh, example of what I'm talking about here, but in the end result, in the real world, this type of situation could happen here. I do want to note this is not from the Indonesian earthquake. This is actually a photo here, but just showing an example of the potential of liquefaction. But next, I do want to note is a historic seismic activity out here. A lot of earthquakes have taken place farther south along this uh, uh, subduction boundary here, just north of uh, Timor here, out in this region here. But also, just noting this is actually one of the first earthquakes since 1900 to take place over land uh, Silawasi and south of Kandari here. So just mentioning that, and I do want to bring that up because uh, you're thinking it's a 6.2 it shouldn't be too bad well uh, the fact of the matter is this is a poor infrastructure area thus uh, some of the shaking especially since it's a very shallow earthquake could cause uh, an abundance of damage out here so we're continuing to monitor the situation as far as damage hopefully you don't get any more reports of injuries and definitely no reports of deaths coming out of this and hopefully that's not going to be the case it doesn't look like it should be but we continue to feed in reports up here so please check uh, earthquakereport.com that's earthquakeattackreport.com for all this new information uh, continuing to update out the day here as uh, people get in and especially into some of these more remote areas. So thanks again for listening everybody and I hope you have a great day. Bye.